Hey guys, Ernst here, coming to you with another video regarding the Go XLR. Um, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a video on how I have my Go XLR set up today and why it's different from what they suggest uh, when it comes to dual PCs. So again, this is for dual PCs. Everything for the single PC, set it up exactly how they uh, tell you to set it up. But I'm gonna give you a little bit of an insight on, on how I have mine set up and uh, what I prefer. So as most of you guys know, uh, if you guys have seen my other videos, I came from a full-blown mixer setup. Um, that mixer setup was always ready to go, whether I was just gaming, just streaming, um, and it had all the wires all set. None of the defaults ever changed. Nothing ever changed. So if you follow GoXLR's original dual PC stream video, what they tell you to do is to run the line out from the GoXLR to the line in on the stream PC, and they tell you to run a line out of the stream PC to the line in on the GoXLR. It works. Without a doubt, it works. It's very simple. It's easy to do. Um, and when every time you, you set up your stream, you don't have to change anything. You don't have to worry about an app. Everything is always loaded on your game PC. The big problem that I had with that is that the line out from the GoXLR sends your mic as the same time it's sending music, game, Discord, whatever you want uh, to the stream PC. And the stream PC then only accepts that as one input, even though you have multiple things that are being set on the output. Back in my old mixer setup, I used to have all those things differentiated. And because it's differentiated, I could control a different volume of the game to the stream where my mic can still come through as being louder versus the game. So I wanted to see if I can fix that. The one way I knew I could fix that right off the bat is to plug the USB directly into the stream PC and then run the line outs reverse. So you run the line out from the Go XLR into the game PC, and that would allow me to broadcast my microphone into my game PC so I can use Discord, etc. And then run the game PC output on into the input on the Go XLR. The beauty is then you can use the motherboard output and split it. I can split one line that goes directly into the stream PC, one line that goes into the Go XLR, and I can hear my game at a separate volume than the stream could hear. But then there was a problem. The, the big problem was is that in order for me to game, if I wanted it set up that way, I would either have to change out the USB every single time I wanted a game, or I'd have to have my stream PC on. Neither of those I wanted. So I actually talked with Kick Tripod, um, who is, I think he's a community manager, one of the brand managers for Helicon Gaming. Message him on, um, on Twitter. He and I have been talking back and forth for, for quite some time, actually, since they launched it at uh, TwitchCon. And uh, he suggested, well, you may, you may want to try um, a USB switcher, see if it works. Um, it wasn't like an official endorsement, but he's like, hey, it might be something that worked. So anyway, picked one up off of Amazon, and what that allows is that the USB goes directly from the backside of the GoXLR um, into the USB switcher, and then I can use the USB switch whenever I wanted to stream just to switch the inputs back and forth. So let me take you through the setup that I have. Um, so here, you'll see the backside of the GoXLR. We have our XLR uh, input that comes in from my microphone. We have this line in on the Go XLR, which is just a 3.5 millimeter stereo cable that comes from my game PC on the motherboard output, right? So the normal thing that you'd plug your headphone or the speakers in goes into my line in, and this is the blue cable. On the back of the game PC, it's gonna be either red, black, or green more than likely. Then on the back side of the Go XLR, we have the line out. Now the line out in this case goes to the line in on the game PC or the microphone. Typically that's blue or pink. And that way I can send my microphone from the Go XLR through the routing table into my game PC. The USB, um, as you'll see, is then connected to a USB switch. So this USB switch acts as a USB cable that is both plugged into my game PC and my stream PC at the same time. All I have to do is hit that little button that's on the top and it'll switch between the two inputs. So what do I do? 90% of the time I'm just on my game PC, but when I decide to stream, what I do is I close down the GoXLR app 
I hit that little button on the top. It switches the input over to the stream PC. I turn my stream PC on and the GoXLR app loads up on my stream PC and loads my profiles. So what are the downsides to this configuration? So I've, I've told you the upside. I get to split my game audio out and it means that I can listen to game audio differently than what the stream hears, which means my voice can always project over the game, no matter what volume of the game it's at. And I can control how loud the game is in my head independent of, of the stream, which means I can normalize every game to the stream to be the same. I never have to adjust it, but I can adjust it in my head. If I'm playing Rocket League and I don't really care about the sound, I can lower it. But on stream, it sounds the same. It also allows me to leave the music on my stream PC and keep that as a constant volume as it relates to the game so that the music's always either in the right level of background or in the foreground if I want it to be. The other, the, 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 probably the biggest downside though is that you have to have two instances of the GoXLR app. Um, you cannot have one profile either. So on the game PC, you have the GoXLR app and it'll have a profile, which of course also links your samples. It also links your voice effects, um, but it also links your routing table. You need to have a different routing table when the um, GoXLR is on your game PC than the routing table that you have on your stream PC. So what I did is I saved all the files that I wanted from the game PC uh, profile, sent them to myself in an email, download those files on the stream PC so that I copied all the samples that I had already developed on the game PC, put them on the stream PC, but then I adjusted the routing table on the stream PC and saved that as the default profile. Uh, this is how I get it to work. This is how it works, uh, whether I'm streaming or whether I'm off stream. So when I'm off stream, I just start up my game PC, XLR app loads, my USB switcher is set to game PC, Everything's just as if I don't have another PC. My microphone comes in through the USB. The output of the game PC goes to my headphones. Everything's good. When I turn on my stream PC, like I said, I close the GoXLR app on my game PC. As I start up my stream PC and the USB switcher is set over here to the uh, stream PC, the GoXLR app will load up and load my profile onto the GoXLR which has the routing table that accepts the game uh, input and sends my microphone out to the game PC. So this is an alternative way of setting up your GoXLR with dual PC. Again, I think it it actually takes away really the only negative that I had about the GoXLR when it first came out is that there was no way to separate a line out mix from your headphone mix. You can change the headphone volume, the master volume, and you could choose which items are in the line out or the headphone but you can't change the individual volumes. If I wanted to change the game volume in my headphones, but not the line out, you couldn't do that. When you have this USB switcher set up or you have the USB or the GoXLR set up on your stream PC, you can do that. Um, so anyway, that's how I solved the issue. If you guys have any questions, reach out to me on Twitter, Ernst underscore Blowfield. Comment down below if you guys uh, have any other questions. I'm pretty good about responding. Like it if you like it, dislike if you don't. Talk to you guys later.